scenery, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the city of Atlanta. Please enjoy all our great city has to offer. We're here in Hot Atlanta. It's known to almost no one except for outsiders. The second day of the congressional recess to go to an event for Senator David Perdue. Purdue is going to be having a $50 per person lunch with business owners, but what he's not doing is holding town hall meetings, and he hasn't done them for quite some time. And this has now become a point of controversy here. This group has uh, been putting up these billboards. The billboards say, have you seen him? Missingdavidperdue.com. And Purdue's kind of dug in on this. He's like, I'm not going to meet with these people. So we're interested in what happens in a deep red state like Georgia, maybe trending a little purple, but mostly red state like Georgia, where a pretty popular sitting U.S. Senator comes back home to be greeted to this wave of progressive activism that's sweeping across the country. Oh, there's the protest. Oh, we, we have been asking for a town hall meeting. Town hall now. 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 Why are you all here today? Because David Perdue won't talk to us. Right. He's voted with Trump almost 100% of the time. He will not even meet with his constituents. We begged him to meet with us. Right. What does that say to you that he won't come out and meet with you? Uh, he's, it says that he's got his agenda and he doesn't want to hear ours. He's great at taking big money stuff, but he doesn't, doesn't listen to those regular folks. Perdue said that's not his style. What is his style? I mean, he owes his constituents a town hall. Why are you here today? Because I'm old and I'm angry. What are you angry about? I'm angry about what's, what's going to happen to this country for my grandchildren, yeah. my great-grandchildren. Yeah. And are you mad at Trump or mad at Purdue or both? Both. Okay. Same thing. Have you ever been at a protest before? One. But this is the first time in my life I've ever joined a movement. So you're one of the organizers of this thing, right? Yes. And before 12 weeks ago, I was not what I would call an activist. Right. It just kind of happened all of a sudden. Well, tell me about that. I was uh, concerned. Yeah. And then after the inauguration, I was more concerned. It just kind of was hitting me. And I set up a rally at Senator Perdue's office. And I thought 10 people would go up there with me. Yeah. And there were 147 people that day. Wow. And we've been doing it ever since. Uh, had you done marches before Trump got elected? or is... be honest, I have not. My activist spirit was born on November 9th. The Republicans say that all the people who come to these protests are all paid protesters. Have you been paid to come to these protests? I have not been paid a dime. I don't know who this Soros guy is, but if he must have lost my address or, the, you know, maybe my check got lost in the mail. I have not gotten a dime from this, but that's not going to stop me. Uh, the, the government did such a good job with the VA and the post office that I was concerned with what they were going to do with health care. Some crowds I get a little bigger after that, but you know, I get it, I get it, I get it. By the way, this is where my wife really, if I'm sitting at a table, she starts kicking me on the table because I can bring any cocktail party to its knees, y'all. And this is where it is. Thank you. Senator Perdue, you talked about a representative democracy and it's important to listen, but sources tell us that your camp encouraged your supporters to buy tables so that you would face a friendly, not a hostile crowd. Every week in our office here in Atlanta, we have people who really don't agree with us come in and give us their input. We're doing a good job of listening, right? Line of social justice says that you didn't meet in a town hall. Well, I, I, you know, I, I do better than that. I'm meeting with individual constituents. A town hall is one way to do it. What do, you, what do you hear from your constituents they're most encouraged about for the Trump administration? Or what are they most concerned about? They're most encouraged that there's hope that there's going to be rollback to some of the regulations that have hurt business and that we will get to a, a tax uh, solution and that health care can get fixed. I mean, I hear that from my constituents every day. So I think the concern is they don't know him yet. Not a lot about what he's done has gotten out through the media candidly. And so they're a little still nervous about what's he going to do with foreign policy and what's he going to do with the economic situation. That's, uh, that's what I hear.